how is the seller secured? How do you, how do they know that you're actually going to make this fifty dollars a month payment to them? How do you know that you're going to pay this equity out to them and they're not just giving you the house and just hoping? She made the mistake of paying all her contractors up front. Now, if you don't know, you need to pay your contractors as they do the work. Why would somebody do this? Why would somebody sell to you on a hybrid? Yo, dogs, what's up? We back. Look, I got an announcement on Saturday, January 14th. We are doing an amateur role play competition where it's going to be in my Discord. So if you have not already clicked the link in the bottom right here where the links are at, hit the link to the Discord, join the Discord, tell a friend to tell a friend and sign up for the role play competition because I'm going to it's going to be myself. I'm going to have my other closer friends that are badasses. We may have some special guests come in and judge you and give you feedback on how you talk to sellers. So bring your A game. I'm gonna be talking a lot of crap as that's what I love to do, but I'm here to help. It's gonna be fun. We may have some prizes at the end. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out, but I'll see y'all Saturday. Click the link. We talked about sub two deal. We talked about seller finance deal. There's another one where you morph them together. It's called a hybrid. So it's a mixture of a sub two deal and a seller finance deal. So I'm taking over a mortgage. So I'm taking over a seller's mortgage subject to, so I'm buying the house subject to the existing mortgage but now there's equity the seller has equity and they're like i'm not gonna just give my house away and let you take over the mortgage i have money here that i want too so a lot of times they may want all of their equity out but we don't do that we pay their equity in payments over time so subject to and seller finance mixture what better way to learn than a real life story i actually just bought a house recently in virginia newport news virginia now i didn't lock this up femi on my team locked it up this came from a jv lead so another wholesaler sent the sent the lead in my team locked it up and the seller in this in this situation she ended up she started to do the the rehab but she lived in another state so she lives in florida the property's in virginia and she had some contractors run out of her run out on her in the middle of a, of a rehab and she was using her own money on and it was kind of crazy. She made the mistake of paying all her contractors up front. Now, if you don't know, you need to pay your contractors as they do the work. So they need to show proof that they actually did it, especially being long distance, it's, it's crucial. All right, so she was using her own money and this caused her to run out of money to pay her mortgage. She couldn't keep paying her mortgage, so she needed help. She, she has money still, but she, just couldn't foresee her going another couple months paying this mortgage and she's not even living in this property. So this was a, a rental property for her. She was doing the rehab, ran out of money on it. Now she wants to sell it. Um, we ended up calling her, getting her on the phone and we negotiated with her. There wasn't, there wasn't, there was room there, but there wasn't much room to rent it out. So we had, she has equity, but we didn't have much room as a rental property uh, to make money on our side. So the terms that we negotiated with her, um, we took over her mortgage, we paid her $7,500 at close of escrow, and we're paying her $50 a month for the next 20 years until we pay off the, the rest of her equity. And at first she didn't, she really didn't wanna agree to that, but shout out to Femi for getting her to agree and just painting the picture and showing like, we're, we're not making, really making any money here. And there's, we can't be in a position to where we can't pay the mortgage and she understood that. So she elected to take the $50 a month and we're paying that on top of the $700 a month mortgage that, that we're paying on the property. This one is another one where there's no cash flow and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the seller finance. I'm gonna wrap this one. So I'm taking my own terms, wrapping this around. So why would somebody do this? Why would somebody sell to you on a hybrid? Now. Same exact reason why they would sell to you on terms in the first place. They want a higher number than a cash price makes sense for. And we come in and this time they just have a little bit more equity. They, they have a little bit more equity on their mortgage and we pay them off over time. So same motivation factors as a regular creative deal. Most parts um, very similar. Um, it's the only difference is there's, you're just mixing them together. Sub two, seller finance, put together. So a good objection that we have that we can go over. And again, if you are currently making calls to sellers and, and pitching creative offers and any, any real estate wholesaling in general, if you're making calls, 
join the Discord and let us know what objections you're, you're facing and we'll make a video on that. Now, a good one to, to go over is how is the seller secured? How do, you, how do they know that you're actually gonna make this $50 a month payment to them? How do you know that you're gonna pay this equity out to them and they're not just giving you the house and just hoping? How are they secured? So everything goes through a title company. Everything goes through a title company and the title company has attorneys that work for them. Now the attorney, they draft two documents. They draft a promissory note, which is exactly what it sounds like. I promise to pay you back by a certain date. So the equity that they have, I promise to pay the seller $50 a month for the next 20 years until I pay her off. And then the next is a deed of trust. And the deed of trust is just securing that person's interest to that property legally. So those are the two things that will be that your seller is protected on. And that's how you can overcome that objection by letting them know that's their protection. Hit the subscribe button and also hit that reminder so you get alerts when I post every single day. And to do one better, join the Discord so you can get double alerts when we post every single day and you can be interactive now and build a community of like-minded individuals who are currently doing deals. The whole point of the Discord is to help somebody else get a deal. That's how you grow within the community. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, join the Discord. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. I'm in a whip, so I got a zoom. They trying to talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in the way, they gotta move. I got a gas, they running on fumes. Told them we